kahunas. I don't know. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Andrew or Skull HQ here, and today I'm rocking a pretty ghetto setup. This box for the Razor Blade Stealth 13. Whoops, is too big to fit in my little um, white background thing. So we're kind of doing a ghetto on the floor. The Razor Blade Stealth 13 with the MX150, 256 gigabytes of storage, and um, a little special present that came with it. So uh, with a coupon code, I was able to get this, which is a Razor Spinner. I don't know why they still give this out, but um, you know, it was free, so I'll take it. Anyways, on to the main kahunas. I don't know. Let's cut the box open. Always love a nice clean cut. Ooh, for gamers, by gamers. Razor's usual thing, I guess. Yep, so here's gonna be the accessories first. Um, I have not seen this in person before, so I'm very excited. This is the, wow, that's a small charging brick. This is the very, very small charging brick. As you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. Um, and one end should be, yep, USB-C. There we go, USB-C. Got an embossed razor logo on it. It's a 65 watt power adapter. And then of course we have our US American plug. So it came in a big brown box, and then we have our black box, and then we have our actual laptop box. So you have a box inside of a box inside of a box. Woo, flip that out. And this is where we get the classic uh, green and black design here. with a very nice material. Obviously you can't see it, but it is like a uh, recycled cardboard, like a soft touch kind of feel going on. All right. Let's padding right there and there's the laptop so I I don't know how thin this is I have not seen it in person it's thinner than my current MacBook Pro it's fairly light I'll have to grab my MacBook Pro to compare in a minute but underneath that we have our little open tab here I don't rip it and inside we have uh, thank you for choosing razor the there's no turning back and two razor blade stealth manuals as long along with um some razor stickers chroma stickers and a microfiber cleaning cloth as well so i grabbed my macbook pro this is a early 2015 base model um 13 inch macbook pro with an i5 and 256 gigabytes of storage with um intel integrated graphics so this is quite the upgrade for me. Not necessarily in terms of storage or anything like that, but um, it's a little bit lighter, right? And it's got better graphics in it. And it's really what I bought it for was the graphics power along with the really nice aluminum unibody uh, build quality. So I'm gonna bring you down here so we can kind of experience this part together. Let's see. Extra ghetto today. We all little ghetto. So here's the laptop. Ignore the warping, that's from my wide angle lens. There's the Razer logo. This is as clean as it'll ever be. That's satisfying. And pull it out. There appears to be a little bit of gunk on the bottom here. Don't know what that's about. There it is. It's shiny, not very shiny, I lied. It's matte black finish, but it's embossed, not embossed. Nope, shiny, razor logo. I'm gonna flip this mic around one sec. So let's open up the laptop here. Wait, is it weighted well? It is, it is weighted quite well. And we have a little bit of uh, things to talk about here. So there, it says NVIDIA GeForce MX150, 25 watt variant, four gigabytes of uh, DDR5 VRAM. An 8th generation Intel Core i7-8565U processor, 4 cores, 8 threads, turbo boost up to 4.6 GHz. And then we have our sticker here for Thunderbolt 3. So this USB-C port on 
this side, this USB-C port right here is Thunderbolt 3. This is normal USB-A. And then around the other side, we have another USB-C port. This is just normal USB-C 3.1 Gen 2, I believe. And then we have normal uh, USB 3.1A and a headphone jack. And of course, we have a full HD 1920 by 1080 display with a Windows Hello sensor. So let's hit the power button and hope there's juice, which there is. So this is a full unboxing and setup. So you'll kind of see what it's like setting up Windows on this bad boy. It should be just a, woo, the keyboard lit up. I somehow have forgotten this. Okay, it left all the glue. Okay, we're not gonna do that yet. Wow. These are some awful stickers, Razor. Look at that. Just left all the glue on there. Starting services. Still. Hey, we finally made it to Windows. It took a long time, but we're here. English in the United States, that's a nice trackpad. I enjoyed that. Cortana. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. There's a little bit of distortion. I may have to shut her off because she's being now let's quite get you connected to a network. All right, let's connect to a now network you that you can't see. Don't, don't get me wrong, I love Cortana, I love Halo. Shut up. <laughs> I have to sign into a Microsoft account. Hey everyone, it's future me. Uh, this next section of the video, I d forgot that the microphone on this camera is gets interference from my Wi-Fi router. So I'm gonna try to cut around the noise as much as possible, but there is some interference that you'll hear in the audio. Now I set up Windows Hello, so I'm gonna move you aside for a second. Sweet, that was easy. This is just simple, simple Windows setup now. Almost there, I'm on the Windows desktop. Welcome to the best Windows ever. Oh, I've gotta sign into Razer Synapse. Google Chrome has been installed. That is exactly what I was hoping for. We'll update Razer Synapse while we're here. And that's that. I've landed on the desktop, so I am good um, with my razor blade stealth. Now, I'm a little sketched. I'm a little sketched about this because I'm used to Mac OS and um, I'm switching over to Windows for a laptop, which I haven't had since I broke my Surface Pro. Listen, that was an accent. I'm a little sketched out because I know that the razor blades, all of them have had um, problems before. Uh, coil wine, um, fan wine, clicking. So I'm really hoping this does not have that problem and I, I won't see it arise or just randomly dying because that is also a thing that happens to some laptops. Now, albeit um, it is rare, it's not guaranteed, but it is possible and I can't say I'm not worried about it. And I'm really excited to use this guy because I love the black, the stealth black, and I like that it's very thin and I like the really boxy design. So. Hey, so uh, I'm, I've am i filmed all that. I've cut down the unboxing as much as possible. I'm currently editing this video on the Razor Blade Stealth, which by the way, I got a D-Brand skin for. Um, and I got my little setup going on here. If you'd like to take a look, this is what it looks like so far anyway. New mouse, mobile mouse. I haven't started the Premiere file yet. Movie magic. My hard drive's gonna be plugged in over here, and then I'll have power coming in as well when that inevitably it's going to need it. So um, I've edited on this before. I edited my my full time video where I discussed going to do YouTube full time, and uh, that turned out pretty well. I had a little bit of technical issues, though I don't really know what caused it. I don't think it was necessarily the blade. We'll see. Um, I'll give you an update if anything goes wrong, and that's that. So I just remembered what the problem was last time. So what happens is, uh, I, it's my, this is my hard drive's fault, I think. Whatever happens when I connect this hard drive and try to edit off of it, it switches over into um, using the integrated GPU, not the MX150. So if you want to edit off of this, you need to have enough space for your video project because maybe it's just that this hard drive isn't fast enough, I'll need an SSD, um, but it could not, run Premiere um, very well. In fact, I couldn't even play back video when it switched over to the integrated graphics. So I have to move the files onto my computer locally to then edit them off the desktop um, and off the internal SSD of the laptop rather than from a hard drive if I want to be able to play it back and it use the MX150 inside of the laptop. If not, it wasn't working. Um, thank you for watching. I know this video was very weird like me if you liked it. Favorite the video. If it was your favorite, don't forget to share the video, subscribe for more. I didn't turn the mic around. I'll see you later.